welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul video and I am super excited about this stuff. I got a bunch of stuff from eBay um, and some of this stuff is not here yet so it's going to be split up into two parts because I was getting impatient waiting for everything because I haven't used these products yet and they're like sitting there taunting me so I just thought I would get this out to you. And then my boyfriend was so sweet and he bought me some stuff from the new elf store that opened up in my area. Um, so I'm going to include include those things in this haul because I haven't used those products yet either. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I got was this acrylic case from eBay. I don't remember how much it was, but I will have all the direct links and everything in the description bar. But yeah, it just has three drawers. Um, yeah, really sturdy. I like this. And actually, I did use this one in the other drawer, drawer I'm going to show you. This right here to put my makeup and stuff in so it wasn't just taking up a bunch of space in my room. But um, yeah, they actually fit a lot of things in there. And this one, I think, was a little bit more expensive. It's a lot heavier. So I really like it. I think I'm going to get one more of them, though, because um, I ended up having more things than I thought I did. So I will probably get another one of the the fatter one because um, it does hold some more stuff. So yeah, really excited about those. <laughs> Next thing I got, which is over here, <laughs> I got some makeup brushes and I have had these same makeup brushes since like high school and college and stuff. So while they are still really great brushes, I just wanted some new ones because, um, you know, I want some more. <laughs> so yeah, I got these ones right here. Um, that goes with this one, this set over here. And then these right here, which just have the gold ferrule on it. So yeah, um, I like them. They're really soft and stuff. So I think these are gonna be awesome brushes. They are exactly the same um, type of brush. Just this one looks different than that one. And these are a lot longer, but yeah. I think these are gonna be great. I love them so much. This actually came with, um, I think these are 20, 20 pieces, piece brush set. This came with a concealer palette and a beauty blender. So I was like, I can't pass that up because it was only eight bucks for all three of those products total. So yeah. <laughs> so I'll show you the concealer palette next. Um, yeah, right here. Okay, so it just is your basic concealer palette. I probably will not use this for myself, but I'll use it um, for like clients or something. So yeah, just concealer. Nothing really say about that. Um, and then the beauty blender that, wow, the beauty blender that it came with <laughs> just looks like this. It's just your basic sponge. It's pretty soft. I have the actual beauty blender and mine is just old because I got it when it first came out and I don't use it that much, but it's just stained and whatever. So I figured I would get this one. I don't use it that much. So yeah. And then I did get three more little beauty blenders, like little baby ones. And they look like this. They're only 75 cents each. Yeah, so I got this and I did test it out. I didn't actually use uh, makeup product with it, but I ran it under the sink to see if it would absorb water and they don't actually absorb and get any bigger. So if that's a problem, then um, maybe take that into consideration. But yeah, I think this is going to be perfect for like your under eye highlight and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> um, next I got some empty makeup palettes. And they just look like this. They're kind of smaller than I thought they were going to be, um, if I'm being completely honest, but it's not really a problem. It comes with 15 eyeshadow pans, and they are all held by a magnet. Um, I got these because I want to start wearing more glitter eyeshadow and stuff, so instead of buying just a bunch of pans of, of pressed glitters, because that can get really pricey after a while, I bought a set of loose glitters. I got 30, so that's why I got two of these. Um, this is like a squeaky toy or something. <laughs> anyway, I bought um, 30, a 30 pack of loose glitters that I'm going to press myself and put in these palettes. So yeah, since we're getting into like the holidays and stuff, it's going to be Christmas pretty soon and the New Year's, like New Year's and glitter go hand in hand. So I figured I would need to step my glitter game up. Um, and then I got one more of the palettes that I used to press the Milani shadows. And it just looks like this. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, you know the Milani shadows that are just like individual and they, they're really cute, but they're just kind of a pain to store. Like, 
they just take up so much space and stuff on my vanity and in my drawers and stuff. So I just pressed some and I, I crushed them up and I think that there's enough to do a pan twice. So I left um, the rest. I don't know where I put them. I put the rest of them somewhere. So when I run out of them, I have another, um, I guess, backup, I guess. So yeah, I can get two uses out of each shadow pan is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but obviously I cannot talk today. <laughs> so next thing I got was this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. Obviously it's not a real one. It's less than two dollars, but um, yeah, I it's in the shade Vintage and I really wanted a purple liquid lipstick so I figured I would just give this brand a try and I'll do a video testing it out to see if I like it and if it's worth you guys' money. Um, yeah. So it just looks like this, and it's really pretty. I swatched it before because I did try to film this video on Saturday or on um, on Sunday, and the video just kind of felt really rushed and stuff, so I didn't want to put out a poor quality video for you guys. So I did swatch it, and it does dry down completely matte. Um, smells good. Smells exactly like the, um, the original product. The only differences are the containers. It's a little bit shorter than the actual container but not by much, and then the consistency is a little bit different. Um, Anastasia lipsticks are a little bit more moussey than this, so yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be really opaque on my lips. I just did a hand swatch, so I don't know yet. Um, but like I said, I will swatch this, um, or I will do a video testing this out. Okay, moving right along. Next product, which is crazy to me, I have not tried the LA Girl concealers yet. And anyone I've told that to is like, are you living under a rock? Like, why have you not tried them? And I, I don't have an answer for you. I don't know why I haven't tried them. But yeah, they, I actually did, I dropped one on the floor. <laughs> but it was a, um, I don't know if it was a sale or not, or if it's just what this, um, this, what is it, on eBay, the sellers, if that's just what they do. But it was buy six for only 12, so they're two bucks each. And I think they're usually like three or four dollars, so I was saving a little bit of money there, and that was awesome. Um, so I lied, I actually did use this one and the orange one, um, yeah, but needless to say, I love these so much, they're awesome. Um, yeah, the orange one is great, I actually like this a lot more than the Prep and Prime from MAC, it's a better shade for my skin tone, and I think the consistency is just better, because with the Prep and Prime, if you blend it too much, like, it's really easy to blend it to where it doesn't look like anything after a while, but this one right here stays orange. So it covers up any imperfections you may have on your skin. Um, yeah, and then I bought the darkest shade, which is Mahogany, and I believe that's going to be dark enough for me to contour with. So I'm excited to try all of these and use it like a full face, um, and I will definitely film a video for you guys. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot. If you'd like to see me film a video on how to press glitters and stuff in those palettes, then let me know. Um, I know there are a few videos already on YouTube, but if you'd like to see me do it, then get, um, give this video a thumbs up or put it in the comments and let me know if you'd like to see that. Um, regardless, I will show you the outcome if you if you don't want to see me actually film a whole video dedicated to pressing glitters, then I won't do it, but I'll show you the outcome in a video once I get that done. So yeah, those are all my products I got from eBay. Next thing is the stuff that I got from e.l.f. So I'll start with this, li not liquid lipstick, but um... What are they called? Matte lip color, and um, it's in the shade Praline. It looks like this. It's like a nice kind of pinky. Actually, no, not in, on camera. It looks more pink, but it's like a terracotta orangey color. And I will swatch it right here below that Anastasia one. And it looks like that. It's going to be a really pretty like nude color on my skin. On a lighter skin tone, it will come up more orange. But either way, it's going to look great on any skin tone, in my opinion. And I love the formula of these because they're not super, super, super opaque. So on days when you don't want to wear a lot of makeup, then um, yeah, these are perfect. So I've been wearing the T-Rose shade that I bought in my last haul. I've been wearing that nonstop for the past like week. I don't have it on today, but I've been wearing it a bunch. So that's definitely going to be in my October favorites video. But yeah, I'll let you know if this product is great. I actually, now that I got these next two products that I'm going to show you, I can do a full face using e.l.f. products, so that's going to be a video that I filmed for you, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to start with this. This is the bronzer palette, um, and it's in the shade Deep, and I'm so excited because I'm, I almost bought the dark bronzer palette from Walmart, um, but that one's just a little bit like 
it wouldn't show up on my skin but they have deep and this one is such a cool shade like it's a cool dark brown so I think I can actually contour with this it's a lot darker than it is in um, than it's showing up on camera because the lighting's kind of weird um, yeah but this is gonna be awesome so I'm excited to use that and then I got the deep foundation palette so yeah this is really cool and I think it's awesome that they included this like salmon -y shade it so does not show up there you go you can kind of see it so this is like a salmon -y shade right here and you can color correct with that so I think this is an awesome palette good job elf this one is so dark right well not that sounded messed up I don't mean it's so dark but it's dark enough for me to contour with so yeah I'm super excited and then this one I can probably highlight with and then this is around my skin tone right here so I think this is just the perfect palette for me um, these are only six dollars so yeah the only thing I just wish that they would include the deep ones at the drugstore and not just light and whatever the other one I have light and dark or medium um, yeah I just wish they would have this in the drugstore because it's really hard for us like darker skin girls to find a uh, good um, foundation and concealer and stuff without going and getting some high-end product. I think L'Oreal is probably the only drugstore brand that has a wide range, but then again, they don't even go up that dark. So I think e.l.f. is doing an awesome thing. I just wish they would have them in the drugstore. So yeah. Next and last product is the matte setting spray. And I didn't know that they had a matte one because I've been loving matte skin. Like this whole month has just been like no highlighter well okay I wear highlighter but like no dewiness at all so yeah I'm super excited about this I love the original formula that they have for just the plain um, setting spray they're always sold out at Target so yeah um, so I figured I would just try the matte one and then I will use this obviously in a video and let you know how I feel about it but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this haul thank you so much to all my new subscribers I'm almost at 100 subscribers guys that is crazy to me. I remember in a video, I'm like, oh, I'm at 17 subscribers, but now it's like there's 100 people almost watching my videos, so I just think that's cool. Um, if this is the first video of me you've ever seen, then go ahead and press the subscribe button and watch some more of my videos if you like me. And um, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a good day.